As the midterms near, election officials say they're worried about disruptions to the whole process. The Justice Department's investigating lots of reports of voter intimidation. One example, officials in Arizona are now stepping up security after describing instances in which vigilantes, their word, were seen loitering around ballot boxes. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez reports from Maricopa County. Amid complaints of armed mass groups wearing tactical gear and recording voters, the sheriff in Maricopa County, Arizona, has now stepped up security near ballot drop boxes. It troubles me that suddenly others feel compelled to act out in a way that is uh, potentially criminal intimidation or uh, criminal threats, trying to undermine democracy under this, this cloak of patriotism. And, and in doing so, what they're doing is they're destroying the most important institution in our nation, you know, the freedom and the right to vote. He also says his office is investigating this incident captured on cell phone video where a woman tried to take a picture of one of their license plates and was pushed. We spoke to the woman. She asked us not to use her name or show her face for fear of backlash. You know, a lot of people are intimidated. And when people are standing around, you know, with handguns on them and sometimes tactical gear, you know, it really does scare the average person. At least six complaints of alleged voter intimidation here have now been referred to the state attorney general's office and the Department of Justice. Across the country, election threats are ramping up ahead of the midterms. A lot of these threats are fueled by mis and disinformation. Law enforcement nationwide is on alert. The Justice Department has an obligation to prevent, uh, to guarantee a free uh, and fair uh, vote. Back in Arizona, where early votes are already being counted, Republican election officials have called these armed drop box watchers uninformed vigilantes. As a Republican, how frustrating is it to you that some of these groups have latched onto conspiracy theories? Well, it's been an interesting last two years, and you know, for the party of facts and logic, at times we have fallen short from, in my estimation, on facts and logic. For the news, I'm Gabe Gutierrez.